Hello everybody! Welcome to Agashi Review, where I review movies, dramas that you don't want to waste your time watching. I'll give you a synopsis, short review, along with my thoughts and opinions. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Now let's go into the review. Hello everybody, Agashi here. So today I'm doing another Chinese drama review called Here We Meet Again and it's by Vin Zhang or his other name is Chang Bingbing. Um, it's been a while since I've seen this guy's acting. I didn't get to watch his other drama with Esther. I was kind of like wanting to but it's kind of just like it was airing too fast and during that time I had so much drama to watch. As you guys can tell there's not a lot of dramas coming out right now. Uh, there is a lot coming out for summer so I am looking forward to that. I have a list for summer and a lot of them are like Korean dramas and a few Chinese dramas here and there so I do look forward to that but yeah so Here We Meet Again has a total of 32 episodes and airs all week. I think two episodes every day or something like that or one episode per day but I was able to watch the first 15 episodes we're already like almost done already there's probably like 10 12 episodes left only but to give you guys the, the cast synopsis and the recap of the first 12 episodes so as for our cast we have Janice Wu as uh, Sh Xuan Yun and then we have Vin Shang as uh, Shu Yang Xin and then Huan Di Ying as Gao Lang and uh, Ni Ta Xia as uh, Chen Shu uh, Li Yi Xiao as uh, Li Qing and Lian Di Wei as Lu Dong uh, Mi Xi Xi as Ying her name is confusing Ying 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 <laughs> Ying with the G and then Ying Ying without the G's and then Liu Yu Ting as Ling Qing Qing and there's a lot of people, there's her grandpa, there's her brother, there's uh, team leaders, there's other competitor competition and there's like other guys and other girls that gets involved and a lot of work people but um, synopsis uh, Xie Yun is the eldest daughter to the Donghen uh, Dong He group and she, her task is given to her by her grandpa to go save one of their company in the Xing'an branch that is about to go bankrupt. At this time, she ends up meeting her former crush, uh, Xu Yangxi, again. And during their days in high school, middle school, she tried all her best to win him, but he rejects her. They meet again now as adult and she's trying to save the company which he works for that is deeply in the mud and is about to die um, despite facing uh, in, um, inequality he is determined to pursue his dream to become a navigation engineer and in the process of dealing with the company crisis she gradually learns to take matters in her own hands and the two come to support each other and realize the dream rekindle things of the past and patch things up so, recap of the first 15 episode, the drama starts off with uh, Xin Yun's grandpa telling her, setting her up on blind dates and she's saying no to everything. And she says she never wants to get married, she never wants to fall in love, not knowing the reason why she's determined to that. But in order to allow that and for her to have her wish, she must prove that she can take care of herself. She, her grandpa sets her off to the Xi'an branch with, for their company Weiling which is about to go bankrupt. She has one year to make sure the percentage go up to sales percentage, percentage go up to 10% and Weiling is like a navigation business which nowadays nobody uses navigation anymore in their car to put navigation everything's on your phone you know so she has to she must pitch the perfect idea to keep and to prove that everybody still need navigation system basically to say once your phone is in the area where it's out of service you can't use it anymore while well, these navigation could still work so that's what she has to pitch and she has to make the sale goes up by 10 percent so she has a degree in journalism broadcasting all these other degrees she ace everything she Dean list all the stuff like that and she streams game for living as the side by the name of Ashley Ashley or something like that and then she gets to Weilun guess who is the team leader that she gets to join is uh, Xu Yangxi her longtime crush that she could not forget about trying to make sure he doesn't recognize her he still does anyways and they end up working together she tells him throw away all the past let's work together we're co-workers co and let's save the company 
Well, while working together brings up a lot of questions about their past, everybody learns about them eventually, that he had a crush on her, they went to school together, all these things like that. Which she still questions why he left and why she could not let go of her feelings for him. So it thus flashes off a lot back to their high school days where she's madly in love with him and he helps tutor her and everything and they always get to hang out and do things together just the two of them. Her birthday was right around the corner. She's obviously from a rich and wealthy family which um, she wants to reveal the truth out to him. He does know that she's from a rich family but not from wealthy who she is you know. Anyways, before her birthday, he rejects her and he ends up transferring school. She doesn't know why, but before he left, she threw a gift at him and she said, I'll never speak to you again. He left and they never saw each other since then. The gift she gave him was a necklace with the initial XY, XYS that um, has like planets orbit, something like that. Kind of like the solar system because he loves star system, um, stars engineering all this stuff like that navigation stuff like that that was his dream and that's what he always dreamed of to do and to go into career wise and everything so they meet again after all these years and she's learning to become independent trying to save the company so naive does not know or understand anything he secretly helps her on the side eventually he can't hold back his feelings anymore but his pants his past haunts him where he has so much secret for her and eventually his past starts to slowly come up and gets revealed and uh she we learned that right before her birthday, when they were in, in school days, middle school, high school, whatever, uh, right before her birthday, his father, he comes home and finds his father packing and they're like, we gotta leave, debitors are trying to, the loan shark and everything are gonna come and collect debts, I got, we gotta run. So he's left, but he doesn't, but he wanted to give her, like he was gonna leave, So he, but he wanted to give her her birthday gift before he leaves but he he saw how other boys treats her and their gifts are so much more valuable compared to him and he thought that she won't accept him because he's poor so he decides to be like i'm poor i'm never gonna measure up to these guys i'm just gonna break her heart and leave so he does that during college they um they actually um they meet again but they don't meet in person. He secretly watches her, watches over her. And like eventually, um, he after years, he found her again. And up through virtual gaming and everything, learning who she is. And um, he became her virtual gaming boyfriend. And then during college, his father ran away and left behind his baby half-brother. So, uh, Shu, Shu Yanshin ends up, ra ends up raising, raising his baby brother working fighting through college and all of that on his own so he rejects her again when duty calls he's just like i'm sorry i have to choose so he chooses to leave her again she doesn't know that it was him she does find out later on that it was him her virtual boyfriend then was him so ever all along she realized that he's been watching her he's been with her all along so you know he's now like right now like he's in debt he's short on cash he's struggling to keep things going alive he lives kind of like on the poor area side of the town versus her she lives decent rich and everything but because he's so passionate and everything he wants to do and his dreams and raising his younger brother he puts it all behind him put some smile in front of his face and just go you know just go for it but it's like um it's like the first 10 episode kind of just like work related stuff everything then do trying to save the company she you see her learning struggling and he's secretly helping her behind trying to hide his feelings and like she's upset as she learns from things here and there and she just kind of like lets go and move on and she hopes for him to just be honest with her you know and so all of that but eventually we know he's gonna learn about her wealth and he's gonna learn that he's dating the chairman's beloved granddaughter he's gonna be upset about it but when you really think about it her secret isn't as big compared to his and she's been honest about it from day one wanting to tell him and she's been honest of who she is kind of like a spoiled rich 
brat girl, you know. But with him, she was able to just be herself. She was able to open up. So basically, she portrayed all of that from day one until now and kind of still showcased that to him. But it's like it's him who gets afraid and run and he keeps his secrets from her and he never tells her anything. And she doesn't put, she doesn't put, pull it out of him. She just kind of like learn as she goes and she just keeps it to herself, hoping, expecting that he will come forward and be honest with her. So she's not going to sit here and be upset and be like, why didn't you ever tell me this or tell me the truth, what's going on, all stuff like that. She's just going to be like, you know, it's up to you whether you want to tell me or not. But just so you know, I'm very upset. Like, you can't be honest with me here when I can be honest with you. So that's that. But yeah, so like the first 12 episodes, it's like that. Spoiler around so 19 to 20 they do finally get together but eventually things are gonna go downhill for them again and eventually we know he's gonna learn who she is but um they still continue to work on the company together and from the looks of it like how like i always say like chinese drama they still do a lot of the intro opening and the ending um ending um all this stuff like that so if you watch all those you kind of see what's going on and eventually he's gonna learn a lot about her but he's gonna be very forgiving because she's been forgiving of of him him all along and she all in her heart is him and the reason why she refuses to ever fall in love again Mary is because she's still hung up on him after all these years you know so basically she's just it's not but like she's all spoiled and everything but she's just she's grown up and she's learned to take care of herself it's just she's never in the work field and her grandpa's giving her the opportunity and she's going to go do that you know and it's all about being supportive it's all about having someone to lean on it's not just taking everything on your own and that's basically what he's doing but but yeah um the first couple ep the first like three episodes are really good and then like after that it's kind of like a drag and it isn't really good and getting good until like episode 10 and on so uh you do get a little bit of drag here and there and then kind of like the pace starts picking up so in between it's kind of like introducing a lot of the work related stuff kind of like how building you up onto things that is gonna happen things that's gonna get frustrating later or okay remember this because it's about to happen later or why is this gonna lead to that so that's that but so far it's a good drama i like it i mean it's almost done it's pretty short and it airs every day so it's about to be done soon but check it out if you guys have not it's been a while and i don't think i've actually besides she was pretty um yeah i've only seen him in modern like that but other than that i've seen him in all like the historical or the the dress up dra drama wuxing drama and everything like that and so far i liked him in i will not let you go and the king's woman the king's woman is just so sad he doesn't get her and like they, he never gets the girl man he never gets the girl that always passed away or something always happens but you know recently a lot of his drama he's been getting the girl but but yeah it's so far it's a good drama i like it so we'll see how it turns out and how it ends but that's it for uh here we meet again and i will see you guys next time Thank you.